Hi, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to record better quality guitar tutorials just using an iPhone and using the TS Mini audio interface so that we can do it more cheaply but more effectively. Now over the years people's expectation levels on YouTube for guitar tutorials have getting higher. When you think originally, I mean, about 10 years ago, uh, you know, guitar tutorials were generally somebody sitting on the end of the bed with a, you know, quite low quality smartphone explaining how to play things since then people are expecting hd quality and high definition sound advice is always free on youtube and many of the suggestions are to get an audio interface you need a you know a lightning cable to, to connect up through an iphone then we start going at software speaker monitors usb powered gear and it all starts getting very, very expensive. And you only ever started out just want to be able to use an iPhone and make a very simple video. Now, one of the big problems when making a, a guitar tutorial, in this case, I'm just using the inbuilt mic on the iPhone. So at the minute, I feel a little bit like I'm shouting at the phone so that it picks up my voice. I'm kind of quietly spoken normally. So sometimes people say they can't always hear what I'm saying. When it comes to the playing of the guitar, if I play it. What you're hearing there is coming through the speaker, so you can hear that. But also what you can hear is the guitar itself acoustically. So the mic is also picking that up and that for me has always been one of the bugbears when I make videos that you can always hear that and it spoils the sound of it. So how can we overcome that? Well that's where the TS Mini is going to help out hopefully. Now it does a lot more than just what this uh, video has shown but what I like about it is it sends two signals. It sends the mic straight directly to the iPhone it'll be in the left ear and the guitar in the right ear so you've got your two split channels we could want a mix but then uh, so that you could hear the voice and the guitar on both speakers but then you're starting to go and mix them we're trying to keep things simple so this for me is going to solve the problem that I have with that so what you're going to be hearing is a direct signal to the iPhone so you're not going to hear the guitar acoustically it's a, it's direct and you should be able to hear the mic directly for the voice into the iPhone and that's going to serve for better quality so I'm going to put my uh, guitar down for now and we're going to set this up so what I like about this unit is quite light I put all the link in the description I think these are about a hundred pound and they come with the lightning cable that you would normally have to buy off Apple for I think about 30 40 pounds maybe more I'm not quite sure and um, that is so that you can um, plug directly into the iPhone you've got your USB connector there so when you've got your USB cable so that is going to go directly into the iPhone the USB cable goes in there and then we're going to plug that into the where it says USB now the phone is going to power this and that's what I like about it so we've got XLR cable there so bring in the microphone XLR cable will go into there so that goes into there now now I'm running a uh, Brian May Amplitude software I've got my iRig cable um, plugged into the iPhone that's kind of serving as my amp so what I'm doing is from the line out I'm going from the line out and I'm plugging directly through that into where you would plug your guitar. Now what I can do now is you have phantom power. So if you had a microphone that needed phantom power, it's got the phantom power. 
plug the iPhone in now. Right there. So I plug the iPhone in now. And that should be getting powered now. As you can see, I've got a headphone socket here so I can monitor what's going on um, through the headphones. I've got a line out here. If I plug in the line out, I can now hear my own voice coming through the speakers. You can't hear that because it's directly into the phone. But it's got direct monitor. Uh, we'll look a little closely at what that does later on because there's three options. But we'll do that when we're plugged into the iPad for recording just vocals only. So I've plugged in. Get my guitar. So you should be hearing the guitar through one speaker and you should be hearing my voice through the other. And I think you'll agree that that serves pretty well. A, a lot better quality. I can hear what's going on. I could wear headphones if I so wanted. We're now going to look at what we can do more with it if we wanted to uh, use garage band and use the mic and record, say, just a vocal. Now, if we wanted to record just guitar in itself but I think you'll agree that that kind of does solve the problem so in this segment of the video I've actually plugged the TS Mini straight and directly into my iPad I've opened up GarageBand and as you can hear we've got like a hall type sound we're in stereo so I'm recording that I'm recording the video with my iPhone and then I'll use my software I use CuteCut Pro and I'll then take the audio that I've recorded in the video and put the two together so that you can hear this. So this is going directly through now. If I use the direct monitor, the signal here and there is just straightforward. It's, it's bypassing the actual app that I'm using. If I click it again, that is a mixture of the straightforward uh, monitor and what the app's doing. And if I click it again, then you're just hearing exactly what the app is. And you'll agree that the sound quality for that is pretty good. Now, just move the mic a little bit. I've got different options here. So I've taken the, the reverb off. That probably sounds better for if you're doing a, like a broadcast kind of video. If I click on fun, all of a sudden everything starts to change. I can sound like a chipmunk, a Geordie chipmunk. Sound as if I'm on the telephone, a loudspeaker. I don't know what that one is. Sound like a robot. Oh, sound like a sound like God. Oh, oh, Barry White. And then I can go back. So that's what you can do just with the microphone. And I'm that this is the mic that I reviewed before. That was twenty pound. So using that, um, the audio quality is a lot better than what I've been getting out of just using the uh, the inbuilt mic uh, from the iPhone. Also, I mean, I used to use my iRig mic, especially when I was playing the guitar. I would position it to try to get the guitar and my voice and it didn't kind of work out very well I can do the same thing for the guitar with the I can put the guitar directly through the iPad one thing of note is open up apps like Amplitude through GarageBand and the TS Mini will work I was trying to get just standalone apps to work and I was beating my head up against the wall realized if you opened up GarageBand and run your apps through that a lot of success and you can record and everybody's happy so tell me what you think in the comments and as always thank you for watching